Hello dear students, welcome to Corona Mass Academy. Today in this video, we are going to prove one of the most important questions, which is asked in SEE 2075 in province number 1 in question number 24. Dear students, this question is from our theorem of circle. In question number 24, we are given that points S, O, M and I points S, O, M and I are concyclic such that arc S, O is equal to arc I, M. Arc S, O is equal to arc I, M. If the chords S, M and I, O if the chords S, M and I, O are intersected at the point K, prove that area of triangle S, O, K area of triangle S, O, K is equal to area of triangle I, M, K is equal to area of triangle I, M, K and again, we have to prove that chord SM is equal to chord SM is equal to chord IO. So, this means so we have to make the diagram according to the question. This means at first we'll prove area of triangle SOK is equal to area of triangle IMK. Area of triangle SOK is equal to area of triangle IMK. At first, we have to write given. Points S, O, M and I. Points S, O, M and I are concyclic points. Arc S, O is equal to arc. S, O is equal to arc I, M. Cors S, M and I, O. Cors S, M and I, O intersect at the point K. Now, according to the question, we have to prove area of triangle S, O, K. Area of triangle S, O, K is equal to area of triangle I, M, K. So, this is next we have to prove chord sm is equal to chord io so we are given that arc so is equal to arc im arc so arc so is given equal to arc im the reason is given so this means if two arcs are equal then they subtend equal angles at the circumference of the circle arc so is equal to arc im arc so is equal to arc I m. This means arc S O subtend angle S I m at the circumference of the circle and arc I m. Arc I m subtends angle I O m at the circumference of the circle. So this means when two arcs are equal then they subtend equal angles at the circumference. So in the statement number two we have taken angle S I O is equal to angle I O M. The reason is from statement one, equal arcs, equal arcs, subtend equal angles at the circumference of the circle. This means angle S I O and angle I O M. Angle S I O and angle I O M are the alternate angles made by the transversal I O with the two lines. S I and O M. So dear students, if the alternate angles are equal, that means if angle S I O is equal to angle I O M, if angle S I O is equal to angle I O M, then we can write S I parallel to O M. We can write S I parallel to O M. The reason is from statement number two, alternate being alternate angles are equal. Dear students, now in the statement number four. In the statement number four, now we can easily write area of triangle SOM is equal to area of triangle IOM. We can write area of triangle SOM is equal to area of triangle IOM because the two triangles SOM and triangle IOM are on the same base and between the same parallel lines SI and OM. So they are on the same base. OM and between the same pair lines SI and OM. So we can write area of triangle SOM is equal to area of triangle IOM. In the statement number 5, now we can write, we can break down the triangle SOM. We can break down the triangle SOM in two parts by using whole part exam. And again, the triangle IOM, the triangle IOM also we can break down into two triangles by using the whole part exam. So this means, 
Now from the statement number 4, by using the statement number 4, we get a statement number 5. So triangle SOM. So we have divided triangle SOM. We have written triangle SOM as the sum of two triangles SOK and KOM. SOK and KOM. And again, we have written triangle IOM. Triangle IOM as the sum of two triangles as the sum of two triangles IMK and QAM IMK and QAM so this is so by using a statement of 4 and breaking down triangle SOM into two triangles and again breaking down triangle IOM into triangles we have found that triangle QAM is common Triangle KOM is common in both the triangles SOM and IOM. So in tra the triangle KOM is common, so we can cancel the triangle KOM. Then after cancelling triangle KOM, we have got triangle SOK is equal to triangle IMK. We have got triangle SOK is equal to triangle IMK. So this means we have got the proof of the first one. That means area of triangle SOK, area of triangle SOK is equal to area of triangle IMK, which is from statement number 5. Next, let's show SM is equal to IL. So, dear students, in order to prove the second one, that means in order to show chord SM is called chord IO, in order to show chord SM is called chord IO, we'll show the arc. Subtended by two chords equal. So this is the arc subtended by chord SM is the chord SOM and the arc subtended by the chord IO is the arc IMO. So if we can show arc SOM which is subtended by the chord SM and the arc IMO which is subtended by the arc IO then we can easily write chord SM is equal to chord Y. So this means when two arcs are equal, then they subtend equal chords, as well as when two chords are equal, then they subtend equal arcs. This means we can easily show chord SOM. This means we can easily show arc SOM is equal to arc IM. We are already given that arc SO is equal to arc IM. So if we add arc OM in the given two equal arcs, then we'll get arc SOM is equal to arc IMO. So this means now to show chord SM is called chord IO. So in the statement number one, already we have arc SM is called arc IM. Arc SO is equal to arc IM. So by adding the arc OM on both sides of this statement number 1, we'll get arc SOM is called arc IMO. This means this means already we are given that arc SO is equal to arc IM. Arc SO is equal to arc IM. So in the arc SO and in the arc IM, if we add arc OM, then we'll get arc SOM is equal to arc IMO. This means in the statement number 5, this means in the statement number 7. So we have added arc OM on both sides of the statement number 1. So after adding SO plus OM and again adding the two arcs IM plus OM, we have got arc SM is called SOM is called arc IMO. We have got arc SOM is equal to arc IMO. So this means now after showing two arcs SOM and arc IMO equal, we can write chord SM is called chord IO. We can write chord SM is equal to chord SM is called to chord IO. So when two arcs are equal, then they subtend equal chords. So this means already we have shown arc SOM is equal to arc IMO. So we can write now 
cord SM is equal to cord IO. Cord SM is equal to cord IO. So, dear students, in the statement number 9, we have got cord SM is equal to cord IO by using this statement number 8 because equal arcs subtend equal cords. So, dear students, so this is the proof of the given our theorem of circle which is asked in SE 2075 in question number 24 which is from our theorem of circle. So dear students before we end this video let us discuss the process we have followed to get the solution of question number 24. So dear students to show area of triangle SOK is equal to area of triangle IMK. To show area of triangle SOK is equal to area of triangle IMK. At first, we have to show triangle SOM is equal to area of triangle IMO, which we can easily show. So, dear students, we know that from the relation between area of triangles standing on the same base and between the same parallels, we can write triangle area of triangle SOM is equal to area of triangle IOM. So at first we'll show the chord SI parallel to the chord OM. Distance we are given that arc SO is equal to arc IM. Arc SO is given equal to the arc SO is given equal to arc IM. So if two arcs are equal, then they subtend equal angles at the circumference of the circle. So distance we can write angle SI which is subtended by the arc SO and angle IOM which is subtended by the arc IM. So distance when two arcs are equal then we can write the angles subtended by two arcs are also equal. So at first we have to show angle SIO is equal to angle IOM with the help of given two equal arcs. Distance if the alternate angles angle SIO and angle IOM they are the alternate angles See if the alternate angles are equal, then we can write the line SI parallel to OM. So this means since arc SO is given equal to arc IM, arc SO is given equal to arc IM, so we can write angle SIO is equal to angle IOM. The reason is equal arcs, equal arcs obtain equal angles at the surface of the circle. Distance since angle SIO and angle IOM, SIO and IOM are the alternate angles, so we can, which are equal, so we can write SI is parallel to OM. So when alternate angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. Distance now, we can write area of triangle SOM is equal to area of triangle IOM because they are standing on the same base OM and between the same parallels OM and SI. OM and SI. So we have got area of triangle SOM is equal to area of triangle IOM. We have got area of triangle SOM is equal to area of triangle IOM. The reason is from statement number one. The reason is from statement number three. Area of tri triangles on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. Are equal in area. So now in the statement number five we have used statement number four and we have applied whole part exam distance triangle SOM and triangle IOM both they contain common triangle QOM so breaking down triangle SOM and IOM into two equal into two triangles because they contain common triangle QOM so after breaking down triangle SOM and and triangle IOM in by using whole part exam we can write area of triangle SOK is equal to area of triangle IKM so distance so when we break down triangle SOM and IOM into triangles then the common triangle QOM will cancel and then we get area of triangle SOK is equal to area of triangle IMK so from the statement of 5, we have got area of triangle SOK. Area of triangle SOK is equal to area of triangle IMK. This means now next we have to prove chord SM is called chord IO. 
so to prove called SM which is obtained by the arc SOM and the chord IO which is obtained by the arc IMO so this means in order to show chord SM is called chord IO we'll show that the arcs obtained by two chords equal that means we'll show arc SOM is equal to arc IOM IMO which we can easily show this means already we are given arc SO is equal to arc IM so if we add the arc OM in the given two equal arcs then we'll get arc SOM is equal to arc IMO so this means now arc SO and arc IM they are given equal so we are going to add common arc we are going to add arc OM on both sides of this statement number one so in the statement number one we are we have arc SO is called arc arc SO is called arc IM so if we add arc OM on both sides of this statement number one then we'll get arc SOM is called arc IMO so dear students after adding arc um, OM in the given two equal arcs SM and in the given two equal arcs SO and IM if we add arc OM then we get arc SOM is called arc SM we get arc IMO so this means in the statement number 8 so by adding arc SO is arc by adding arc OM on both sides of the statement number 1 we have got arc S OM is equal to arc IMO now if two arcs are equal then they subtend equal chords so chord SM equal to chord I IO. We can write chord SM which is obtained by arc S OM and chord IO which is obtained by arc IMO. We can write equal. So this means after showing arc S OM is equal to arc IMO, we can write chord SM is called chord IO because equal arcs they obtain equal chords. So this is the proof of the second one that means chord SM is called chord IO. So this means so so dear students in this statement number nine we have got chord sm is equal to chord io because equal arcs obtain equal curves so this is the solution of question number 24 which is asked in se 2075 so dear students i hope you have understood the solution of question number 24 so dear dear students thanks for <clears throat> dear students i hope that you have understood the solution of question number 24 which is asked in se 2075 in province number one thank you thanks for watching this video and if you have not subscribed our youtube channel called mass academy please subscribe it and also press the notification bell icon so that when any new video is uploaded you can easily get it and again we'll meet in the next video with a new content till then bye have a nice day thank you